business owners are extremely busy. They're often not in the office. They could be out and about visiting clients and customers. As a business owner, you want to see and have visibility of all the costs coming in to the business and ensuring that you understand what you're incurring, when payments are likely to be due, and making sure that costs aren't being incurred unnecessarily. Now with being out of the office considerable amounts of time, it can sometimes mean that when an invoice comes in, it doesn't get processed until it's been approved. That invoice is potentially put on your desk or somebody's desk, and it can be left sat there for a period of time. Sometimes it could get lost and then you've got suppliers chasing for payment or you're having to request missing paperwork. Many businesses will also have multi-layered approval workflows. So it may not just be one person who needs to approve it. There could be two, three or four individuals who need to approve a particular invoice. When that process or that workflow is in place, it's really important to understand where is that invoice in the workflow, in the chain. Because if there is a bottleneck, you want to be able to make sure that you can follow it up as quickly and swiftly as possible. Otherwise, there can be a delay in that invoice hitting your accounting system. As a result, you haven't got your numbers up to date. That can then potentially mean that when you are looking at the financial performance, you could make the wrong decision because not all of the transactions have been reflected. What I'm going to show you in this short video is how you can use Dex Prepare with Approval Max to completely automate that workflow so that you always have full visibility of where an invoice is in the process. Second of all, I'm going to show you that integrated with the accounting system. In this video, I'm going to integrate it with Xero. And I'm going to show you how you don't have to be in the office. Everything can be done using apps for all of these products. So it doesn't matter where you are, you can always have your finger on the pulse and you can always ensure that there's no delay in the processing of these transactions. So first of all, I'm just going to jump into the mobile app for Dex Prepare. So once you've downloaded the mobile app for Dext, what we can do is just jump straight into Dext. And this is just a receipt that um, I've incurred. It could be, you know, for, for anything really, it could be a train ticket, it could be an actual invoice. You could have a number of invoices that you want to get processed and get them into the approval workflow. So we'll just take a quick picture of this and we can select our category so in this instance we'll put it to entertaining and we'll just press submit so now dex is starting to do the hard work for you it's extracting all of that data so that you don't have to manually process that information now once that data has been extracted we have the option to publish that item directly to approval max from the app itself i'm going to show you how it works by using the website for, for Dext and how that workflow works for this part. So let's jump into the Dex web page. So in Dex, we can now see that invoice or receipt that I've just taken a picture of is this top one here. As you'd expect, all the details have been extracted. If it has been paid, fine. If not, we can mark it as unpaid and none. Um, if we wanted to put in a description, we could. We could also have put the description on the mobile app as well. But if we're happy with all those details, what we can do is publish that receipt directly now to Approval Max. So I've already done the integration between Dex Prepare and Approval Max rather than an integration going directly to zero in this instance. So we'll publish this transaction. And that transaction will now um, just be verified and we'll jump into Approval Max. So in Approval Max, we just need to log in. And as we can see, 
that transaction that I have just sent across from Dex Prepare is already in Approval Max, ready and waiting for me. Now I have already set up some workflows in Approval Max, so you can set up workflows for purchase order approval, invoice approval, accounts receivable, sales invoices, approvals as well. This workflow I've created here is a very straightforward workflow. So what we have is the integration with Zero, as mentioned before, and I'm just the sole approver in this instance, no more than that, but you can have multiple approvers um, and they can all be set up without any difficulty. Once that invoice has been approved, as mentioned before, it will then get pushed into Zero. So if we go back into our landing page, which showed that we had an outstanding invoice, we can see that this invoice, this receipt is there ready and waiting for me as the sole approver, just to make sure I'm happy with that transaction. I can either reject it or approve that transaction. I can also bring up a picture of that receipt as well if I wanted to. So I've got full visibility of that invoice, that receipt, without actually needing to be in the office at all. I could do this between meetings, on the train down, but what it ensures is we are keeping a smooth cycle which is continually running around purchases, which means that your data can be real time and you're not building up a big pile of invoices at a later date that you subsequently need to go through and make sure you're happy with. So we'll just go back here. Now what I'm not going to do is approve it here. I'm going to show you how actually you can approve this um, invoice on the mobile app as well for approval max. So let's jump back to the phone and I'll just show you how that process works. So back on the um, mobile phone, we can go into the approval max app. And what we will see when we've signed in is it's immediately telling me there's a decision to be made. I can click on that um, invoice and again, if I'm happy with all of that, I can approve it here. If there was multiple approvals set up, that will then move on to the next individual for approval. So it will follow the workflows that you've done. It's as straightforward as that, but it means that you've always got that visibility you need and it keeps the audit trail, as you can see, just appearing at the bottom of my phone then, as to who approved it and when they approved it. And then because you're always on the go, you also want to have visibility of the final numbers. So what you can do using Xero as the example, download the app, log into Xero. We can see very quickly all of our invoices that are overdue. And there's that invoice that we uploaded into Dex Prepare by using the mobile app. We then publish that invoice across to Approval Max, and you can approve that invoice either on the Approval Max app or as I've shown on the um, web itself. And then once published from Approval Max, it then goes into Zero, where you can see all the details and and start to look at the numbers in a real time world approval max will also send the approver an email notification as well just in case they're not aware of anything and if you turn on the pop-up messages on your phone you'll also get a notification on your phone to say that there's an invoice awaiting approval so this process is very efficient and very smooth it doesn't matter where you are, but you can always be in control of your costs coming into the business. And that is super valuable because it will take the pressure off you and it doesn't matter where you are. It could be at home, it could be on the beach, but it means that you can have good systems and controls in place, which will in turn ensure that mistakes are never made and will ensure that you always understand the performance of the business at any point in time. Thank you.